I want to talk about Marie. It is the 10th of December today, and aside from the Nobel festivities that are happening not too far from where I am right now, we also learned today that one of our biggest, one of our biggest in the entertainment industry in music, Marie Fredriksson, passed away at the age of 61. And um, you can't help but think back on you know 2016 when this was a very uh, reoccurring thing when it came to uh, people that a lot of, well people that a lot of people had a connection to and Marie is uh, definitely for me one of those you know growing up in the 80s when when she as a solo singer with so many great songs so many wonderful songs uh, prefer well mostly in Swedish. And then when she joined uh, hands with Per Gessler to form Roxette and to become one of the biggest exports uh, we've had uh, basically since. Uh, one of the few Swedish acts to actually make it into the Billboard uh, Top 100 number one spot. And I think that some of the songs that they sung, like uh, you know, Listen to Your Heart, was a very important song for me. Uh, it's very much connected to the way I felt uh, back in the late 80s and early 90s as I was going from childhood into uh, my teen years. Uh, and even the Joyride album, uh, where you just had songs that sort of set the mood and, and almost described the way, uh, in many ways, that of how I felt. Um, and when the Tourism album came, I think it was in the late... 90s where you had some of these songs uh, with live versions um, partly live versions from um, uh, mainly South America where you have a crowd of thousands and thousands and thousands of people and that's I love myself a good live uh, a good live version of songs and in 2001 uh, I got to see uh, Roxette perform in the Globe Arena which is not very far away from here either uh, a very, a very, a, like a real gig, like a long show with all the hits, and it was just. I remember sitting there. I didn't have the best seats in the house, uh, but I remember sitting there, looking right down there. Um, are two of the, two of the people that really defined what it was like to be a kid uh, and later a teen uh, in the in the 80s and early 90s. You know, Per Jesne coming from his Swedish band with uh, so many. Uh, canonical uh, hits and then Roxette and what they did so uh, as I was walking into the office and I got the notification on my phone that Marie had passed away it, it, it just you know 61 what, what I mean really what kind of age is that and I know that we we were very close to losing her some years ago uh, but at the same time it makes you stop and reflect uh, not only on the person, because me as a spectator, uh, I didn't know her personally. I only knew her from her expressions through mostly music. But what that music meant uh, to me and how it defined me uh, in my own world and how I could start to make sense of the world um, through her songs. Even on the 1990 album, uh, Tillfällighet med spel, the, um, the, the game of, uh, of uh, well, the occasional uh, by another artist, uh, Thomas Elin, whom, whom I actually saw in the same arena a week after uh, I saw that show in 2001. Uh, that title track of that album, Marie, has um, some vocals which are really just amazingly dramatic. So um, it is the burden of us to carry on but also to remember whether we knew Marie personally or we only knew her through her music and her artistry to just remember and to really take a moment to listen to some of the songs and feel appreciation that we as people had at least a little part in taking part of her life whether it be yeah a close friend or just someone who bought CDs and LPs or Spotify. Thank you Marie and thank you for watching this video. Good talk.